tomorrow we are leaving the dock. So tonight uh, we're gonna be doing some motor testing. So I have a temperature sensor hooked up to the motor. I have the Victron app running here so I can see all the stats that we're drawing. And I'm writing it down here on the computer so we have some actual data to work off of. We're tied up to the dock and we're in reverse drawing 50 amps. Uh, that seemed to be a pretty good load. It gave us about 4.5 to 5 knots of speed, which is kind of the top end of what we would consider like a cruising speed. Normally we'd go even slower because it uses a lot less power. But so far, so good. We've been motoring for about 30 minutes and we've used up about 15% of our battery bank. Theoretically, this should give us about a 10 nautical mile range doing five knots, so two hours of motoring at five knots. And the motor is at 204 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, I did a little bit more research into our motor and it actually has class H insulation, which means that the maximum operation temperature allowed is actually 356 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's hot. Um, it's an industrial motor from a forklift, so it's designed to survive some pretty tough conditions. So we're probably not going to wrap the motor with a copper pipe and run water through it and all that to keep it cool. We're probably just going to vent the, uh, the motor compartment just to keep some of that hot air out. And um, yeah, I'm going to motor for a full hour and see how it goes. We have the shore charger hooked up, but it's off right now. So once we're done, we can click it on and just top the batteries back up again. Definitely the longest we've ever had our motor running. It's been, um, yeah, almost 40 minutes now. All right. It's been an hour. Let's, uh, let's see the numbers. The batteries are at 75%. So we use 25% of our batteries in one hour, which means we can motor for three hours doing about four and a half to five knots, which is actually really, really good. And that'll only drain us 75%. Um, the time remaining thing on this app I don't think is quite accurate because we only used 25% of our battery bank in an hour and it said we only had one hour left which doesn't really make sense so I'm not quite sure how it's calculating but I don't think it's as accurate 75% remaining uh, which means we used says we used 55 amps uh, and the motor temperature is 268 degrees Fahrenheit which sounds hot, but it's rated for 356 degrees Fahrenheit. So it's still well within its range of heat, which is actually kind of interesting. It's way too hot to touch, but it's supposed to be. So that's interesting. So right now we still have the AC on, which is pumping air through our boat and a cockpit locker open. So the engine compartment was ventilated. When we're out motoring, we're not gonna have air conditioning. So I have a vent fan some duct fans and some four inch duct that I'm gonna use to vent the engine compartment while we're out motoring. I uh, haven't quite figured out exactly how and where all that stuff's gonna be installed, but that's gonna be tonight's project before we leave. Overall, pretty successful, I think. And actually confirmed a lot of the numbers from a lot of the uh, predictions that we got way back when we first started this from Ocean Volt and from Annapolis Hybrid Marine and electric yacht, they all gave us quotes for their systems. And actually the current that we were drawing and the speed that we were theoretically get at that current um, were pretty close to their predictions. So our motor is actually doing pretty well. It's more efficient than we thought it was and it getting that hot is actually okay. So yeah, tomorrow morning we're gonna be uh, packing up the rest of our stuff onto the boat and uh, leaving the dock. But look at that hair. You know, like that? Oh. This needs to get cut off. It does. <laughs> this is like my, I've been wearing a hat for three months hair and uh, <laughs> no one's ever seen it. Then it's trying to grow my- I just get jealous of Kika's <laughs> hair. I just get jealous. So I want my own crazy hair. All right. Guess what guys? We are leaving the marina today, finally. It's been what, like three months that we've been here? And we had such amazing project done and just Cass has been so amazing for helping us with all the projects that we did. And uh, yeah, we have our new baby girls trapped up on the deck. If you missed how Coco here got into our lives, make sure you watch our Monday, miscellaneous Monday video uh, to see her story. But we're good. The air conditioning is off the boat. This is going to be a good test for a motor because we're going eight miles, going to our friend's house uh, before we go to London. So let's go.
wind? Not really. We were hoping to uh, raise a jenny on the way out, but there's not much wind. But uh, because we have that vent, um, that what do you call that ventilator? No, uh, just a vent fan. Because we have a vent fan cooling the motor, <laughs> it has to have a place to exhaust out. Uh, and there you go. It's, it's hot outside, so this is a perfect use for some outdoor air conditioning into my shirt. <laughs> Keeps me cool. I'll call it the shirt AC. <laughs> it's like I have a tail. Oh, I fell down. <laughs> Quite a bit of air coming out of this thing. Oh, uh, yeah. We are doing a speed of five knots and our batteries are 91%. And I'm not sure we can see other information. No, you can't. Well, yeah. never mind on that. But I think it's like an eight mile ride yeah. to our final destination. And we have to go under a couple bridges. But yeah, it's a good, if ever something happens with the motor, probably won't, but if ever something happens and we have a towboat US, just in case. How you doing, Captain Kika? Good. There's something about going on the bridges that I, I like. It's fun. It's safe. Like you have a little nervous moment, like, ooh, are we gonna fit? Yeah. We're about halfway there, and uh, we have about three and a half miles to go, and we've used 22% of our batteries. So we're at 78% now, um, which means we probably will be around a little above 50% when we get there, which is good. That's a good. It's not bad. It's right where we wanted it to be. So we have what? Like, how many bridges do we have left? To Five. Five bridges to go to. Yeah, but this one is the only one that we fit underneath. The other ones we have to call and make sure they open. But we still have kind of a current against us, which is weird because it was supposed to be slack tied right now. Yeah, we're doing point two knots again. never motored this far before uh, every time we've tried something bad has happened so my nerves are like a little on edge but so far everything's been going really smoothly uh, the motor is at the right temperature the vents working uh, the batteries aren't overheating everything's going really smoothly so we're about to make a slight left and start heading up the new river where we have to start going underneath all the bridges so that's gonna be fun so hopefully we get there before they stop opening the bridges <laughs> right oh and uh, I don't know if you noticed but we're taking turns taking the helm because uh, somebody needs to hold the camera when the other person is talking. <laughs> and usually you can't really do both at the same time, so. Oh, I thought these were real people. That's so weird. Look. Oh, I thought they were real people too. That's creepy. That's so creepy. Ah. Inbound sailing vessel Uma requesting your next opening. Good lord. There's about a three knot current coming out of the new river right now. So hovering in place, bow into a current to wait for the bridge to open is intense. It's like this game of just like juggling. Sorry guys, I put the GoPro on the wrong side of the boat. <laughs> but we are, we're waiting at the dock right now. We just passed almost the last bridge. We have one more bridge to go, but they are going to be closed until 6.30. So we have to wait for two hours. And the problem with uh, electric motors is uh, the hotter they get, the less efficient they are. Um, so with it being up at like the top of its heat temperature range, it wasn't giving us enough power to push against like the four knot current that's coming out um, between the bridges and stuff. So, I mean, we were going against it, but not fast enough to make it all the way through. So we're gonna, uh, we're gonna pause for an hour or two, cool down, get some water, and then it's only another mile after, but we're not gonna make the last bridge opening. So we're gonna have to wait. Well, we tried, we're not a fast boat, so it's okay. We don't mind waiting because, oh, you're not wearing a shirt. Well, pretend that Den is wearing his shirt that says In no, no hurry. hurry to go anywhere ever 
Oh, well, yeah. It's funny that we only have like a mile to go. Yeah, 0.9 miles, but it's 4.30 and the bridge operator was kind of a dick about opening. He was like, well, you're not gonna make it. I'm like, so we can't go through? He's like, nope. So we're gonna have yeah. to wait until after rush hour to go through anyway. Oh. Oh, so look at our lovely dock. We're borrowing someone's dock. We're <laughs> yeah, we're borrowing someone's dock. Hopefully they don't get mad. Uh, it doesn't seem like anybody's here. And if they do, we'll just explain that we're, we didn't know where else to pull up. So we'll see. They seem nice enough to let us stay here for an hour or two because uh, the bridge is here open on demand except from 4.30 to 6.30. So we had timed it to come in the New River without any current against us. We thought we were coming in at low tide. Um, but it, apparently there is current against us even at low tide. So we were coming in against about a two or three knot current which means we were going almost hull speed, about seven knots through the water and we were drawing close to 100 amps which meant our motor started to get, which is at like the top end of what our motor can do continuously. It can go harder for brief periods of time but not for a whole hour. So for the hour coming in the new river we were drawing 100 amps which is the max continuous rating for our motor and we just weren't going to make the last bridge in time so we had to pull over and wait. We're not technically in distress. Uh, we could technically call CETO or somebody like that and they could bring us in. But yeah, these people are nice enough to let us tie up the dock for two hours. So we're just gonna wait. And, uh, and when the bridges start opening again, we'll take off and, and head over. Uh, we're actually impressed because the, mo the test we did last night on the dock was at 50 amps, which puts us about four and a half to five knots. And today we were pushing 100 amps, so double the amperage to get us to that extra about six, six and a half knots, which is about what our boat can do under motor anyway. Um, and we did it for almost an hour, so that's actually really good. And we got right to the top of the temperature limit to our motor. Normally we would never plan to motor against a current because to us it's just kind of a waste. Um, but we just didn't know any better for the new river and uh, next time we'll, we'll know. Well, next time we'll ride the current out and we'll just be cruising. But not a bad place to wait. It's good to kind of get a breather. Motor's cooling down, we're cooling down. We have about 20 more minutes to go until we can uh, untie and head back down the river. By the way, if you recognize this little area back there, this is where I did my Kiki challenge on our miscellaneous Monday video. If you haven't seen that video, you should definitely go watch it. And uh, yeah, so we're back on the water down the new river. The new, going down the new river. <laughs> we're gonna go uh, through the last bridge and then we are there. We'll be there. So how do you feel about our overall? Good, it's kind of crazy we motored for I don't know, seven or eight miles or something like that. We're at 44%, so by the time we get there, it'll be like 40%. Um, it's a little more than we expected, but that's just because we're motoring against like a three knot current the whole time. So we're really pushing our motor pretty much to the max. It'll be interesting to see how she does in like calm water, but we still have a current against us. It's about a knot now, but we still have it. So, all right, I gotta call the last bridge though. Davy Bridge, Davy Bridge, sailing vessel Uma. Sailing vessel calling Davy, come back. Uh, yes, sir, this is sailing vessel Uma. We are clearing the last bend, cresting the next opening. Once we see it, Captain, we'll start an opening. Copy that. Thank you very much. Caution, caution, caution. The Navy Boulevard Bridge is preparing to open. All vessels requesting an opening, please remain outside the funder system until the spans have completely raised. It is really peaceful coming in here with the electric motor, though, because everything's so quiet. Like, you can hear all the sounds and you can hear the motor going by. Most of the f noise we have now is just the fans running in there to keep the engine compartment vented. We'll see, we might switch to liquid cooling because we want to be able to push our motor at full speed until the batteries are dead. And right now we can't do that with the way it's cooled. So we might end up going liquid cool anyway, but it is really nice, you can barely hear it. There he is. I was getting ready to want to get as close to that, oh. And that's how deep the canal is. Uh, hang on, let me see if I can motor forward. Nope. Well, we're going to be here for now. High five. We made it to the dock, but we ran aground as we pulled onto the dock. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> 
think it's because right next to the dock is not six feet and it just goes down but and the tide is down too so we just we just might wait till the tide goes back up and then we'll pull forward just a little bit and then we'll be good to go it's like a little you want to jump <laughs> off yeah i'll jump off <laughs> so we're gonna be uh, at our friend's dock for the next uh, week or two, probably two. We got a couple more projects to get done on the boat, uh, add a few latches to some drawers, plumbing, install a new chart plotter, radar, that kind of stuff. Um, but overall, it was actually a, a pretty good trip up the New River. Careful. It was seven and a half miles or so, and um, we made it with uh, what were we at? We used sixty percent of our battery, and. It was actually a really good test because our original test was at 50 amps on the dock for an hour and everything went smoothly. But the first half of our trip, the first hour was at about 50 amps and we were going about four and a half knots or so. And then when we started to come up the new river, we were going against about a two, two and a half, sometimes three knot current. And we were pushing our boat to almost 100 amps, which is about the max continuous rating of our motor. And it made it up to its sort of max temperature rating and um, yeah, we didn't quite get in fast enough because of the current to get the last bridge, so we had to wait on the other side. But we're here now, so yep, it went smoothly. Here. It was definitely further than we've ever motored before. It's a good start. Katie, I have a cookie. Come Where here. are you going? Katie, look, I have a cookie. Look, I have a cookie. Hi. Come, back. <laughs> Come back. Come back to me. So what we found out is if we can keep our motor cool enough, uh, we'll be able to motor for two hours at about hull speed, six and a half, seven knots, uh, which is really good. That's about 12 to 14 mile range. Um, but as soon as we, so the power curve on a motor is very parabolic. So if we slow down to like four knots, then we extend our range, but it will take longer. Um, so it'll be interesting to get out in calmer waters that are a little bit less stressful than coming up the new river and uh, do some more tests. But in the meantime, we are going to uh, drink a beer and mm. take a... And enjoy some puppy time. Yep. Some puppy time. Probably get to bed early because it has been a very long three months yep. of working at the dock and we're exhausted. Okay. Oh my god. Get the I know where your mouth has been. I don't want it to lick my face, okay? So yeah, we're gonna enjoy... I think I have dog hair in my drink. Beer 30. We're gonna enjoy time. a few beers, uh, hang out with Pat and Michelle a little bit, and then we're going to sleep because forever. It's been a long day. <laughs> yeah. Oh, the other cookie's in my other hand. Look, it's a Kika Bird. <laughs> I found my new favorite game. Put you to Kika's <laughs> armpit. All right, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. <laughs> and then We'll see you on our next step. Cheers! cheers. <laughs> Say cheers! Say cheers.